Zwane. Let's take you back to our breaking news story at this hour. We're confirming for you here on ENCA that Winnie Madigizela Mandela has died. She was 81 years old. Let's get a bit more detail on these latest developments. We're joined by our senior political reporter, Tolly Gambi. What a, a shocking development this afternoon, Tolly. Uh, indeed, Joe. It's, uh, I think it's taken everybody by surprise. Mm. Um, we know that she'd been in, in and out of hospital uh, for some time now. Um, she had had, uh, I know for a fact that uh, she has a, um, she has a, a diabetic problem and that's what had gotten her in and out of hospital. So this afternoon we had gotten wind that uh, she had been readmitted because the person I spoke to who is close enough uh, to the family had said to me that on Easter Friday she had been at uh, a church uh, in Soweto uh, on Friday and there was absolutely nothing wrong and so they themselves uh, could not say for certain whether this indeed was fact up until just a few minutes ago when I tried to contact the same person and then the phone was, uh, uh, was actually answered by the son who was calling me and I could hear her in, in the background crying and she was and he was saying to me that uh, unfortunately my mom is in a state and she can't talk to you right now but uh, I'm sure you have heard the sad news so that's how we've gotten confirmation Joe and I also did speak to a close family member who themselves by the way uh, did not know when I spoke to them literally just a few minutes ago and they were saying uh, they know that she had been admitted to hospital but they had not been to her uh, to see her yet mm -hmm. and so imagine them hearing perhaps via the news right now that yes. uh, this is now uh, has happened it's quite shocking indeed it is oh, so, so she clearly took took ill all of a sudden this weekend and it clearly as you mentioned her health had not been very good in in recent years we you mentioned she'd been in and out of hospital I mean we saw those pictures of her at her 80th birthday party looking sprightly looking beautiful she was a beautiful woman indeed um, but but certainly at that age it, it starts to become tricky and, and unpredictable in terms of, of health yeah uh, indeed Joe in fact I I know what the, the kind of condition uh, that she was in, but unfortunately, I mean, I, I don't think I would be in a position to discuss that mm. because the people I've been speaking to who are close enough to her um, were able to divulge this information to me. Uh, and so I think just ethically, it would be wrong of us to talk about the actual mm -hmm. uh, um, the, the actual ailment that uh, she, she was suffering, but uh, it is something that was clearly of deep concern and whenever she would take ill, uh, it would be quite a struggle to try and sort of normalize the situation again. And I'm, I understand this is the problem uh, with uh, diabetes sufferers, uh, that uh, this becomes a big issue uh, when they are when they need to be treated, particularly if they actually need to go and be admitted to hospital. So it's going to be a very, very sad, it's a, it's a sad loss for the country. And I, I'm already imagining that uh, the next couple of days are going to be critical because I'm sure uh, the ANC is going to uh, have to communicate and put out uh, their own statement, just remembering uh, who Winnie Matigizela Mandela was. Uh, the entire country is going to go into mourning for um, a good couple of days, I imagine. Well, the, the, many would be reflecting right now on her role in the ANC, in the liberation struggle, as, as a, a pioneer and a stalwart. What, 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 what are the memories that will come to the surface at this point? I, I think, Joe, uh, without a doubt, the her incarceration and her being put inside a jail cell um, in isolation um, the, the, the word that uh, solitary confinement yeah. is what uh, she was put in I think that was for about six months um, some years ago and this was of course all in the fight to try and liberate uh, the people of this country. Um, we know, of course, that uh, she was uh, married to Matiba, uh, yet another uh, struggle icon. We only lost him in 2013, December 2013, mm -hmm. and now Winamati Mandela is gone. And I, I just, it's it's a bit difficult, Joe, uh, because you know how much her grandchildren love her. Mm. And at the same time, um, we know also the struggles 
that uh, have been in the family itself. I remember the one time, in fact, uh, when I spoke to Umama. I think it was, I think it was after Madiba's burial, uh, during the fight over uh, who really should be taking ownership of the home, of the Kuno home. Right. Um, that conversation with me and her went on for some time, and she, she really tried to, to make the best of it, even though she knew herself that uh, it, was, uh, it was a bit of a bad one. Uh, it was an ugly uh, situation. I know that uh, perhaps the family at this stage, um, they, they still, you know, trying to uh, smooth relations. Uh, I, I suspect maybe this could be the time, who knows, that uh, they actually pull together now uh, as a family. I know that the ANC had been planning um, these celebrations around Madiba's uh, centenary yes. um, year, seeing that uh, he would have turned 100 if indeed he had still been with us. But nonetheless, the party is going ahead with that alongside uh, another struggle stalwart who also has passed on, that's uh, Albertina Sisulu. Uh, so there are going to be those celebrations in the country. And um, I wonder if this is at all symbolic of uh, Perhaps the time that uh, the ANC ha had uh, had planned this, I, I I just I'm not sure what the meaning of this is, Joanne. But it is a, a set time for the country. But I think that uh, Winnie Matigizela Mandela is going to go down in history as one of the gallant fighters uh, who fought really hard. I mean, remember the time that um, she was taken away from her children at uh, during the time that she was arrested and uh, was being taken to Brantford yes. uh, to go and live there simply because she would not obey the rules of uh, the apartheid state. Uh, her two children left at home. Uh, without anyone. I think it was um, a neighbor who had to come and look after them because she was taken in the early hours uh, of the morning and uh, she was then banished to, to Brantford. So that, th th those are the kinds of memories I think that uh, are going to stick with people uh, for a very long time. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that, that, that's who Winnie Mandela was. Uh, so, such a multifaceted individual. I mean, uh, there, there were there were so many so many different sides and perspectives to this particular human being, a, a very complex human being indeed. Uh, but but to to talk a little bit more about that period of her life when when Madiba went to prison when she was left alone as a, a very young wife, a young mother. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a period that's so well documented in her book that talks about her imprisonment and, and, and the, the cruel nature of her incarceration under the apartheid government. Uh, and, and a picture begins to emerge in that book, doesn't it, Polly, of, of, of the, the hatred she began to ve develop for the system that, that essentially fragmented her family, shattered it. Indeed, Joanne, it was a, a very difficult time. I mean, I, I read that book and uh, there's a part in there where she talks about how, uh, just to keep sane, because you're inside a jail cell and the lights are on 24-7, uh, so you're unable to tell whether it's day or night. And I, I can't remember exactly what she said that would make her sort of keep track of the time. Um, and and how sometimes, I think she wrote uh, on the wall, she scribbled, and one of the things uh, she did just to keep busy was to make an effort to, 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 to clean her cell, um, make it look spick and span, and the, the only things she had in that cell was the blankets, and of course the, um, the, uh, the, 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 the bin that uh, they would use, uh, of course, to, to, relieve, the, to relieve herself. Uh, very, very difficult time indeed, Joanne, and uh, the difficulty, as you say, the, the kind of anger she began to develop against the, the apartheid state, against the apartheid regime, um, very, very, very difficult at most, and uh, it's, um, it's a wonder how she, she came through all of that. It's a wonder how she still came to embrace, I remember the one time, um, I think it was uh, the Foreign Affairs Minister uh, who many, many years later, I, mean, I can't remember what the event was, but it was held here in Hyde Park and uh, she was uh, one of the people that were invited there. And when Matigazela Mandela still had the, the, the humanity in her.
to reach across this person and shake hands and just talk about uh, the, 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 the difficulty that, uh, that this was fighting um, the, the apartheid, uh, fighting the apartheid government and fighting uh, the state. I, I just wonder, Joanne, how much, how much South Africans will remember about her struggle because I know for a very long time as well uh, and more recently uh, there has been a lot of talk about how her contribution to the struggle had been overlooked and half the time um, she would be referred to as Madiba's uh, ex-wife. Winnie Matigizela Mandela was uh, an icon, was a leader in her own right and uh, she did not have to go by anybody's, anybody else's uh, last name for her to gain the recognition that uh, she so deserved. Uh, and so that's, that's, that's perhaps uh, one of the debates that will probably um, emerge um, as we mourn um, her sad passing. I'm sure uh, that's what South Africans like doing. They, they want to remember the person wholeheartedly in all the very many aspects. Uh, of a human being that uh, that, uh, that 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 the, the people were, or the person that has died, uh, was, and of course, uh, Winnie Matigizela Mandela is indeed, as you rightly say, a struggle icon, but at the same time, a very multifaceted uh, human being. Uh, we're all human beings, and uh, we all have we all have our flaws, but uh, at the end of the day, no one can erase the kind of contribution uh, she gave for this country. It must be a sad time for the ANC that, that sees itself in a period of restoration right now, losing another struggle icon at this point. And, and we, we've seen the passing of, of stalwarts like Ahmed Katrada uh, over the years, in the last few years. How easy is it for the ANC to, to find its moral compass, uh, Koli, as, as this generation begins to fade away? It's a, it's a tough one, Joanne, because these people, the, the, the ANC at the moment, is sort of, uh, has been drawing strength from people like Winnie Matigeza La Mandela. Uh, we know the fights that have been around the stalwarts of the party um, because, truth be told, they are the fountain of wisdom. and. It's most recently, they were a bit isolated as a result of uh, the man who was uh, in charge of the party uh, in his latter years, Jacob Zuma. And the important thing here, Joanne, is that uh, the, the ANC perhaps is going to have to get even closer to those that are still alive, that are still with us today, uh, because this fountain of wisdom, it does appear to be uh, disappearing and disappearing fast. You mentioned Ahmed Kathrada. Remember at the time of his passing just how divided the ANC was. Um, you, you then fast track to the, 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 the passing of uh, many others that have followed. And the party indeed, it does seem to be losing uh, many of these uh, struggle icons. And uh, these are people that uh, would constantly get visits from senior leaders of the ANC. I remember the recent visit uh, by the current head of the party, Cyril Ramaphosa, along with uh, the top six, going to Mama Winnie Matigizela Mandela. Remember, they had embarked on this um, uh, pilgrimage mm. that uh, Cyril Ramaphosa would speak about. And uh, one of the places or one of the homes they visited was that of Winnie Matigizela Mandela, Matigizela Mandela in, uh, in Orlando, in her Orlando home. And um, she was uh, someone who absolutely would uh, embrace uh, the leadership of the ANC because um, she wanted for the party to still, you know, uh, gain some wisdom from people like her. Uh, and she would endlessly talk about how one day she would want to see people like Julius Malema being returned uh, to the ANC. I think that was her, her last cry, perhaps, uh, that uh, she needed to see Julius return to the party. And uh, it would be a wonder um, whether or not people like Julius Malema would take heed of that. And uh, I know that uh, there's been a lot uh, that's been made about that, uh, particularly by people like Malema himself, uh, who made it clear that uh, she would, he would rather, I think, quit politics 
uh, as opposed to returning to the ANC. I, I wonder how people like him are actually going to remember her because he was close, mm -hmm. very close. And, and we actually have seen visuals in the last few minutes of the two of them together uh, enjoying that bond that they have for, for some time now. Kholi, I just want to bring in a statement that has just reached us from uh, the family of the late uh, Mrs. Winnie Madigizela Mandela. It says it is with profound sadness that we inform the public that Mrs. Winnie Madigizela Mandela passed away at the Netcare Mopark Hospital, Johannesburg, South Africa, on Monday, the 2nd of April, 2018. She died after a long illness for which she'd been in and out of hospital since the start of the year. She succumbed peacefully in the early hours of Monday afternoon, surrounded by her family and loved ones. Now, uh, Mrs. Madigizela Mandela was one of the greatest icons of the struggle against apartheid. The family saying she fought valiantly, valiantly against the apartheid state, sacrificed her life for the freedom of the country. It says her activism and resistance to apartheid landed her in jail on numerous occasions, eventually causing her banishment to the small town of Brantford in, in what was then the Orange Free State. She kept the memory of her imprisoned husband, Nelson Mandela, alive during his years on Robben Island and helped give the struggle for justice in South Africa one of its most recognizable faces. It goes on to say she dedicated most of her adult life to the cause of the people and for this was known far and wide as the mother of the nation. Now the Mandela family says it's deeply grateful for the gift of her life and says even as their hearts are breaking at her passing they urge all those who loved her to celebrate this most remarkable woman. The family will release details of the memorial and funeral services that will take place once all of these details have been finalized. So that is a statement from the Mandela family uh, responding to to news that Winnie Madigizela Mandela passed away at the Mill Park Hospital in Johannesburg this afternoon.